Breaking news, my country people, this is interesting. The Electoral Commission, INEC, hires ex-Nigerian Bar Association president, eight other senior advocates to defend Tinibu's election. Guys, we recall that uh, Pito B, who have challenged the outcome of the election, and also have challenged the uh, Bolad Metinibu's victory to the extent he said he will recover his stolen mandate in court. However, Tinibu have accepted Pito B's challenge, I mean, he has expressed his readiness to defend his mandate in court, saying he accepts the decision of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter B, to challenge the outcome of the election. Now, the Nigerian Electoral Umpire, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has appointed no fewer than nine senior advocates of Nigeria Sands to defend its conduct of the February 25th, 2023 presidential election. INEC had declared Bola Tinibu of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, the winner of the election, and declared him president-elect. According to INEC, Tinibu pulled a total of 8,794,726 votes to defeat the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, who came second, who took the second position, and then the candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Pito B., according to INEC, came third in the elections, while Rabi Ukwankwaso of the New Nigerian People's Party, NMPP, came forth in the elections. However, controversies continues to trail the outcome of the elections as members of the opposition have accused INEC of being complicit and deliberately violating the Electoral Act 2022 and its guidelines and regulations in the conduct of the election. To defend the result of the election as announced, INEC has hired a senior advocate in its legal team and reportedly voted $3 billion to execute it. This day reports that the team is being led by former Nigerian Bar Association, NBA president, Mr. Bubaka Mahmoud San. Other members of the legal team include Mr. Sivin San, Mr. Oluwa Kemi San, Miss, uh, also, Asian San and Abdullahi Ali Yusan. Four other Sans who are staff members of INEX legal department and members of the, of the legal team brought the Sans advocates to nine alongside Garaba Gaba Hassan, Musa, and Mrs. Patricia Obi. Although the presidential election was criticized by many observers, both locally and internationally, and the opposition parties having been, you know, pointing out that there have been some irregularities. However, the APC and its supporters have adjudged it to be fair. Meanwhile, OB and the article and two other presidential candidates, Solomon of the Action Alliance, ACC, and Chichi Oji of the Aligned People's Movement, APM have petitioned the presidential election petition tribunal to challenge INEC's declaration of Tinibu as the winner of the presidential election. You know, being his petition claimed that uh, Tinibu was not duly elected by the majority of the lawful votes cast at the time of the election. Also, the former governor of Anambra State further alleged that there was rigging in 11 states vowing that he would prove his claim in the declaration of, of results based on the uploaded results. The petition reads, the petitioners shall show that in the computation, in the competition, I beg your pardon, and, de and declaration of the results of the election based on the updated results, the votes recorded for the second respondent, Tinibu, did not comply with the legitimate process for the computation of the results and disfavored the petitioners in the following, in the following states, Rivers, Lagos, Taraba, Benuel, Adamawa, Imo, Bauchi, Borunu, Kaduna, Plateau, and other states of the Federation. Obi and the Labour Party have said that INEC violated its own regulations when it announced the result, although at the time of the announcement, the totality of the polling unit results have yet to be fully scanned, uploaded, and transmitted electronically 
as required by the Electoral Act. Among other, other players, the petitioners uh, urged the tribunal to determine that at the time of the presidential election held on February 25th, 2023, that is uh, Tinibu and uh, Shetima were not qualified to even contest the elections in the first place. I mean, it's to note that Bolad Metinibu and uh, Kasim Shatima, being that uh, Tinibu have been engaged in drug trafficking. In fact, he has already been labeled as a drug baron, my country people. This is really serious. And it is determined that based on the on the remaining votes, after uh, this countenancing the votes credited to the second respondent, Peter B scored a majority of the lawful votes cast in the election and had not less than 25% of the votes cast in each of at least two thirds of the state of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, and satisfied the constitutional requirements to be declared the winner of the February 25th, 2023 presidential election, that it be determined and that the second respondent, Tinibu, have failed woefully to score one quarter of votes cast at the presidential election in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, was not entitled to be declared and returned as the winner of the presidential election held on February 25th, 2023. That is their stance. That is what they are trying to point here to Nigerians and to INEC that Bola Admetinibu, you know, is would have wouldn't have been declared as the president elect by INEC. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? So because Peter B is not ready to back down, not now, not ever, until he recovers his stolen mandate in court. Lawyers that should be defending what is good, perfect, and generally acceptable, instead, they allow themselves to be used to defend evil, to defend corruption to defend election rigging, to defend a stolen mandate. Well, the judiciary used to be the, the, the last hope of the common man. But right now in Nigeria, the judiciary is the favor of the highest bidder. What a shame, my country people. This is really getting interesting. Stealing Obidanti's mandate is not easy. Tinibu hiring lawyers to defend himself. INEC, they are also hiring lawyers to defend themselves. Now, wow. So INEC, now, they are hiring lawyers to defend themselves for their criminality. It is only in Nigeria we are seeing this kind of thing. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you.